All right, guys, we got our first huge monster truck on the channel. We got a 2015 Dodge Ram 1500. It's got the 5.7 liter Hemi, and we're going to be doing a motor oil and flush with Signature Series. And we're starting right now. So today, not only are we doing the flush, but we're doing something new, something we haven't done before. We have a Las Vegas YouTuber here, and he's coming to check out the whole experience. J Rock 702, come on in here, man. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, Jay. Yeah. Good to see you again. So Jay here is really, really interactive with the whole Vegas car community. He's always doing track events, car shows, car scene stuff. J Rock 702. And uh, I'm going to put a link to him at the end, and he's going to be documenting this stuff, and he's going to be doing a video tying into Amsoil, which should be a really big viewed video. So definitely get over to his channel and check out that video. Actually, Mick and I, Mick Moore here. What's up, guys? What's so, up? This guy also has a Dodge Viper, and uh, I've been trying to convince him to go on a track for some time now. And it's actually Big Willow, which is the big track. Um, it's super high speed, nine turns, should be a blast. If anyone's interested in doing this track day, Big Willow, March 31st, hope to see some of you there. Bring the Viper. <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting ready to put in our engine flush, but I want to introduce Anthony. Come on over, Anthony, real quick. Anthony's a new addition. Say hi to everybody. Hello. Anthony is uh, going to learn a little bit about motor oil changes, and we're also going to be doing a new thing for everybody in Vegas. It's called uh, Just Fluids, where we'll be doing mobile oil changes. So Anthony will be a part of that. And we're just putting in our flush. This is a really thin detergent. And what it does is it basically breaks up all the deposits out of the crankcase. It loosens up any uh, sticky valve, sludge. And then basically when you drain it, all that gunk ends up in the oil filter. And then it all comes out. And then you have fresh uh, bare metal. And then the 100% synthetic oil will stick to the metal much better. And then that way uh, you're basically all cleaned up and good to go. Guys, we're going to start her up and let her idle for 15 minutes. All right, Mick, go ahead and start her up. Jay is getting a little uh, audio of it too. So we can do a little before and after to see what she sounds like. All right, I'm coming in. Let's do it. A little before and after, before and after the flush. performance improver it's this yellow stuff and it goes in the gas and you put it in every 4,000 miles and basically what it does is it cleans all these deposits out of the crankcase you're good to pour in and we call it one finger cleaning he knows it Mick is the owner here he he drives this monster truck around watch out get in the way he won't say never saw you but you'll be this thin but uh, what I was gonna say was this stuff is just, it's so easy. It's easy cleaning. You just dump in the gas, cleans all the deposits out of the crankcase. Not, not the crankcase, the deposits out of the combustion chamber, cleans the valves so they seat better, you get better compression, and you just put it in every 4,000 miles. That's it. Here you go. Go ahead. You good? Yeah. We're going to go ahead and crack her loose. Here we go. One, two, and three. And there she is. Good to have a breaker bar. And now... I'm just gonna go ahead and drain her down. I'm <laughs> this doing this. Awesome. <laughs> I'm doing this completely naked. I got no rubbers on, but if you have confidence and you know how to use a towel right, you can still get by. And now we're gonna go ahead and loosen her up. Get her nice and loose. And I'm gonna do this righty. On the count of three, we're going to hold her until the last second. A one, a two, and a three. And there she blows. That's it. So I did get wet a little bit, but it's not enough to get burnt. There we go. Just let her drain down. Beautiful. And now we're going to go ahead and crack our oil filter. All right, guys, we're just going to crack off our filter. We've got our big old pliers. Makes it super easy. And this is just basically an OEM filter. 
and uh, all we do is just get her off here. We use our hand here, let her drip for a second. We'll see where she starts dripping. She's coming out like water, splashes a little bit. She's a wet one, but that's what we want. We want all that dark stuff coming out. We'll let her drip for a second, and then we'll just thread her off with the towel. There she is, all right. All right, we're good to go. Good to go. All right, and there she is. Little teeny weeny filter. Hey guys, it's that time to go ahead and prep our Amsoil oil filter. And what this is, is it's basically a proprietary uh, oil filter. It's good for one year, 15,000 miles, and it filters at 98.7% efficiency at 20 microns, sealed for extra protection. And now we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys the difference from basically the Doggy Scraps OEM Mopar filter. <coughs> filter. So what this is, this is a um, mass produced filter, kind of like what you get at the inexpensive uh, oil change places. And you'll see some of the differences. The metal filter's different and the anti-drain back valve is upgraded on this. It's, uh, it's made out of silicone, so it doesn't deform over a year and it doesn't crack and it doesn't allow the oil to drain back out. And uh, when you do your next cold start the next day, you don't have a dry engine, which is good. So that's that. Also the medium in this is a proprietary medium and that medium holds four times more contaminants than cellulose paper. And then you can see a little bit of the difference with the threads is different. And that's it, and I'll do it. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and fill up and prime our oil filter. Since this filter is mounted straight up, we can actually prime it. So we're just gonna crack open a nice fresh gallon of signature. A little stickler there. And now we're just gonna dump in a little bit of oil. And don't be afraid to get messy with it. You know, even if you get a little extra lube somewhere, you can always clean it up, no big deal. And now we got lots of good oil. And now we're gonna go ahead and just wet her up nice and good. We just used two finger. And we're gonna go ahead and wet our threads, like so. And most importantly, wet our rubbers. And you can tell I have my protection on. And that way I don't have to worry about getting any of this oil on me. And that's it, she's ready to thread on. All right guys, it's that time to put in our liquid gold. We're putting in our 5W20 signature series. And what this is, is this is a uh, Amsoil's top tier oil. It's good for one year, 25,000 miles. And it's good for one year, 15,000 miles of severe service. So Mick does a lot of towing with this. And um, basically, uh, let's see here where I'm gonna put my elbow. I gotta figure this out. It's like, uh, it's like juggling different objects. You gotta get used to it with this. But, um, uh, this is good for one year, 15,000 miles, and basically, I gotta concentrate with this one, it's so big. <laughs> and there she goes. Signature series outperforms Mobile One Extended Performance by four times in the industry standard turbocharger deposit test. So it doesn't burn off like Mobile One, it burns off at about half the rate and you have much less wear on your pistons and cams. So the film strength with the 100% synthetic is a lot more complete and all the molecules are the same shape. And that's one of the benefits of it. And now we're putting in our second quart here. And now uh, we're doing three quarts, so seven quarts total. These gallons are tough to pour high because they just don't flow well, but we'll, we'll do some crazy tall pours on some other vehicles. All right, let's go ahead and thread her on. Now we're gonna be starting her up in a second. Guys, this is it, our first startup with Amsoil. Three, two, one. The difference, here she is.
little trouncing around here. Amazing, sounds good so far, I have no idea. We'll see uh, what she sounds like a little bit. truck three years and I've had the uh, exhaust done two years ago. Alright. Her oh, I, had, I had to redo the, uh, the back end. I put 456 gears in the back. Perfect. But absolutely, I can feel a significant difference uh, for the better, for sure. I All mean, right. And I'm not saying that because we're on video or we're friends or anything. I yeah. Mean, it, it's surprising. I mean, it's good. Like, I never had AMS oil. I never met or knew anybody who yeah. had AMS oil. It was my first time trying it. Wow. And so far, so good. I don't know why anybody wouldn't want to try it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, it, I got no complaints. Yeah, that's, that's definitely. I mean, I can't wait to get a couple hundred miles on the truck. You know, give me like a week. And then I'll really be able to give some... Yeah. Hardcore feedback, yeah. But just taking it around the block right now. I mean, this is smooth. Like I, I want to pound on the gas, but wow. it's only 45 mile an hour road right here. <laughs> but yeah, like I really want to get on it. Yeah. That's surprising. I, you just don't expect a truck with this big a tire to be that smooth. That is amazing how smooth that is. Well, thank you. I mean, I built the truck myself, so beautiful. I got to cherry pick every part that I put on it and I tried to reach for the best stuff that I could get. That's so I tried awesome. to build a really good quality truck that would last me a while. It's my work truck. I tow a big 20 foot trailer that's about 6,000 pounds wow. and I tow probably 100 miles a day every single day. Wow. So this truck makes, uh, makes the bills. It's like this truck is really important to me because it is my bread and butter. So I need to be sure that I'm putting quality products, good oil, good filters, in this truck because I depend on this truck. If this truck breaks down, even for one day, it costs me thousands. Not only to repair the truck, but then I have to rent a truck for the day. And if I miss work, then I lose money there also. Yeah. So it's extremely important to me that my truck is always working, that it fires up every time. So what do and, you think? You know, it depends on the truck. What's up, J Rock 702? So what do you think? Can you tell a difference? I actually can. I was just telling even that, that even just driving around the block for two minutes, it feels smoother. You know, I'm excited. I really want to get on the gas and hammer down and see what this thing feels like at 80 miles an hour. I want to put the trailer on the back and go to work and, and really see. I mean, I'm not trying to be an advocate. It's making an advocate out of me. Awesome. Alright guys, we're all wrapped up. Mick, we just went out for the test drive, you guys saw it. And uh, we're actually going to tap the rear diff right now. And I'll put a little video to that right here in the corner. And Mick, what does it feel like? It feels good. I like it. Smooth, better idle, feels good on the launch. Um, sitting at the red light, it's not as shaky. Um, you feel the power. I like it. Awesome. Alright. And also, uh, we ran through about a half a tank of PI cleaner. So once he gets to about six gallons, it's going to clean out that whole fuel system and it'll even idle even a little smoother. And I'm sure we'll be back to follow up. Tap that rear diff right now. And that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Vic. You're the best, man. Thanks, Thank you. you. Yep. Perfect. Guys, we're all wrapped up. Really appreciate you guys checking out the channel. If you guys love this stuff, give it a thumbs up. You know, we're playing with lube, pumping stuff, you know, just swimming in this stuff. It's a loads of fun. And uh, once you guys feel it, you'll be like, wow, I should have been doing this stuff years ago. And Jay Rock, really great guy, I wanted to mention him again. He does all these car shows here in Vegas. So if you're getting a little taste of my channel, check out his. You're not just going to get a taste. You're going to be able to eat it, swim in it, play with it. And uh, I love the stuff he's doing. He uh, does a lot of stuff with Camaro work, racetrack, uh, car shows. And I'm going to put a link to him in the description and in the comment section and then at the end you can subscribe uh right here we'll stick the little button right here you can subscribe there and that's pretty yeah, much hit it. that subscribe button i'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers yep. we're getting them to 1,000 subscribers no matter what <laughs> and uh mick yeah. really appreciate you being a part of everything hey anytime man. so cool to have them 
uh, do his truck, feel it, play with it, experience it, and I'm sure we'll follow up to see what it feels like uh, as he breaks it in a little bit, does some uh, trailer pulling, and that's pretty much it. Um, to be honest with you, I was a little bit skeptical at first, but there's nothing wrong with being skeptical because until you see something or hear something, um, you don't, don't really know what to think. And I'll tell you what, I've known Mick for a while now. He's a straight shooter, and he'll tell you exactly how it is. He's not going to sugarcoat or anything. You know, I mean, he's straight up. If he doesn't notice anything or if he doesn't think it's a good product, he's not afraid to be vocal about it. So, And so far, he said he's completely satisfied. And uh, so that's good enough for me. If Amsoil is good enough for him, it's good enough for me. Thanks again, Evan. Thanks, Appreciate guys. It. Yep, we're good. See you guys. Peace.